Well, he is accused of killing two people in this wrong way drunk driving crash Saturday morning. But the driver behind the wheel only learned about those deaths today when he faced a judge from his hospital bed. New at 7, Tinder's reporter Riel Creighton joins us live from Scripps La Jolla. And Riel, that driver was inconsolable when he learned about the crime. And Steve, although his arm and a leg are still in his cast, his attorney says his pain is deeply emotional. Although those crash survivors remain in the ICU at the hospital, five days later, he's just now realizing the impact of what he's accused of. Beyond emotional, um, devastated, traumatized by the fact that he was involved in an accident like this. No cameras allowed into the hospital bedside arraignment of Shane McDonald, but outside, his defense attorney describing him but for a not guilty plea as quiet or just about inconsolable all day long. So badly injured and sedated, in shock, she says, after finding out just today two people were killed. He is just at a loss, um, I, crying nonstop and just really trying to, to, to understand and process what happens. What happened, say prosecutors, was that McDonald was behind the wheel of this now unrecognizable black Audi early Saturday drunk and going the wrong way on the 15 when he slammed head on into the De La Torre family and virtually, said the DA, wiped them out. This family lost their grandmother and their father in a heartbeat and left the mother and the two young adult kids that were in the back seat. Both Rudy De La Torre driving and his 84-year-old mother in the passenger seat were killed. His wife and two kids in the back seriously injured. McDonald, a 21-year-old athlete from Guam, said his attorney had never been in trouble before, now facing 20 years in prison. And he's expected to be released from the hospital uh, tomorrow, taken to jail. Then after that, meantime, the family, the De La Torre family and friends, are having a fundraiser tomorrow in San Marcos. We're live at Scripps La Jolla tonight. Riel Creighton, 10 News. Yes.